In this video, I'm going to show you the derivative to x to the first power. I'm going to show it to you graphically, and then I will use the power rule. I did these proofs for x to the first power, which is this video, x squared, x cubed, and x to the fourth power. And I put links to these videos below. So imagine we have a function, x to the first power. I'm going to graph this, and I'll put x on the x-axis and y on the y-axis. And the graph looks like this. It's a straight line. I will just pick a point and call it x, and the associated y value is also x, and they equal each other. So f of x equals x, and in this case, y equals x too. Now if I pick another point that's h distance away, and I have x plus h, and I draw that line up, the associated y value is just x plus h. So the slope is always equal to rise over run. And rise is that distance. And run is that distance. No matter how far these points are apart or how close they are together, the slope is always rise over run. And again, it doesn't matter how close they are together, it's always rise over run. This may seem obvious. This concept will help you to understand the other proofs. Now the slope is equal to x plus h minus x divided by x plus h minus x. This distance is actually h, but I'm going to leave it as x plus h minus x. These two are the same, so this all is going to be equal to 1. Now I'm going to use the power rule to calculate the slope of the line. Now I take the derivative of x to the first power. Using the power rule, I take the 1 and I put it in front and multiply it times everything. I subtract 1 from the exponent. This equals 1 times x to the 0 power, or just 1, because x to the 0 power is just 1. I would encourage you to watch all these videos, and there's links below. It will help you understand limits, and I think proofs are always good and useful. Share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. Like the videos, please. Subscribe, and good luck.